What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo from Pitchfork Academy here, and this is partly an Unreal Engine 5.7 tutorial, and partly a little bit of a rant about Epic Games. Now, as many of you are already aware, since 5.6, there's been a slew of new template projects added to the editor. There's 2.5D Side Scroller, Third Person Combat, and a First Person Arena Shooter, just to name a few. But why is there no third person shooter template? Well, as far as I can tell, it's because Epic Games wants you to pretty easily be able to make almost any kind of game you like, as long as it's not a multiplayer game, and as long as it's not a third person shooter. These are the guys that make Fortnite, mind you. But in this Unreal Engine 5.7 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily turn the first person shooter template into a third person shooter template and like i said guys honestly i don't know why this is not in the editor already if i can make something like this in 10 to 15 minutes then the people at epic games surely could make something even better with all that being said the result of this tutorial does have its quirks and kinks that will still need to be figured out such as the aim offsets not being quite right the cast shadow settings on the weapons, and I won't be going into any sort of advanced third person line traces. But as you can see here, it is pretty clean and it works very nicely with the third person character. And if you're fairly new to Unreal Engine, this is by far and away the quickest and easiest way to get a third person shooter set up that in my opinion is quite clean. But just before we get started, guys, I'd like to invite you all to join our free and public Discord server, The Pitchfork Academy. It's a space we've created where you can mix with other like-minded developers, show off your work, and maybe even get some help. The invite link is in the description and in the pinned comment, but without further ado, let me show you how to do this. Alrighty guys, so I've fired up Unreal Engine 5.7 and now I'm going to create a new project using the first person template and apply the arena shooter variant. Name this whatever you like and hit create. And now that the editor has fired up, the first thing I'm going to do is apply my widget reflector just for the purposes of this tutorial to make things a little bit easier to read. And I'm also going to go to edit and editor preferences and change the asset editor open location to main window. This just means that any assets we open, open as a tab in the main window here. And I'm also going to find the variant shooter folder and open this arena shooter level. And with this level selected, I'm also gonna to go to edit, project settings, maps and modes, and set this as both the editor startup map and the game default map. And that just means whenever we fire up this project, it will start in this level right here. The next thing we can do is right click in the content browser and add feature content or pack. And I'm gonna add the third person content pack to this project, hit add to project. And you'll see there's a new folder here, third person. So we know that this has added, I can hit cancel. And in the third person folder and blueprints, we've got BP third person character. We can go ahead and open this up and any changes that we want to make to this uh, third person shooter character we can make some of them in here because this is going to be the parent class of our shooter character so in the level here if you look in your world settings tab you've got the game mode override and if you don't have the world settings tab just hit window and world settings and this shows the game mode override the game mode that is selected for this level if we drop down the selected game mode section here, we can see the default pawn class in this shooter game mode is the BP shooter character. We can hit browse and browse to that and open this up. This is the character that you play as in the shooter, the arena shooter variant of the first person template. So the first thing we're going to do is reparent this to the third person character. So we can go to class defaults here and BP first person character is the parent class here. We can drop this down and search for BP third person character, which is added as part of the third person template content pack. Select that and hit reparent. And this is of course going to create a few errors and warnings. 
We can go down the list here and just click on these and see what they are. Okay, this first one is when you die, it uh, deactivates your camera and activates a different camera, which is used to sort of show your death in third person. So we can just change this to a reference to the follow camera, which is inherited from the third person character. Hit compile and that one will go away. We'll go on down the list here, click on the next one. Okay, so this one, as you can see here, it sets the enum instance classes for the first and third person character meshes. So when you uh, pick up a weapon, I believe, it changes the animation blueprint that the third person mesh and the first person mesh uses. We don't have a first person mesh anymore, so we can go ahead and just delete those nodes there. Hit compile, click on the next one here. And what have we got here? Play firing montage so uh, once again we don't have a first person mesh anymore but we do want our firing montage to play on our third person mesh so i'm just going to select the mesh here and drag it onto this get node to replace this with the third person mesh hit compile and we'll check out the next one this one is attaching the first person weapon mesh and the third person weapon mesh to the first person mesh and the third person mesh. Now we don't need to uh, attach anything to the first person mesh because we don't have one here. So we can delete that and plug in the execution pin. But the thing is that this third person mesh is uh, this third person weapon mesh is not what's used for the weapon functionality. It actually uses the first person weapon mesh. So what we can do is just click on this reroute node and drag it onto here and plug that in like so. So we're not going to use the third person weapon mesh at all in this blueprint. We're just gonna plug the first person weapon mesh into here and attach it to our third person mesh like so. That's all we need to do on that one. We can hit compile and this one. This one uses the first person camera to do a line trace uh, to sort of see where to spawn the projectiles that you shoot. And um, we're not going to go into sort of refining this system hugely for third person shooters. I'm just going to replace this first person camera with the follow camera here. So drag that onto there and hit compile. And that's all of our errors gone away. But there are a few more things we need to do to sort of refine this setup and get it working in a sort of semi passable way. Um, so let's just have a look. Let's just hit play and see. Now we've got some errors on the animation blueprints for first person here, but we're not actually using those in our character and we're not going to worry about these errors here. So I'm going to hit play in editor and we've got a character. Nice. It can pick up a weapon. Nice. It can shoot the weapon, but it's going where the camera is pointing and not sort of where the weapon is pointing. So we can do a couple of quick changes to our, I believe we can do this in our third person character and it will be inherited, but let's just find out. So in our BP third person character, I'm gonna select the root and I'm gonna search for your, and I'm going to check use control at rotation your. I'm also going to search for orient and uncheck orient rotation to movement. And while I'm here, I'm also going to select the camera boom. I'm going to change the target arm length to something like 300. And I'm going to select the follow camera and I'm going to offset it on the Y and Z axes by 50, 50 and 50 on the location here. So the camera is a little bit closer to the character and we're getting a little bit of over the shoulder action. So let's hit play now and see if that has worked. Yep. So that's inherited from the third person character. We've now got nice bit of rotation when we look around and we still have some weird sort of rotations in the animations when we strafe, um, but I'm going to show you how to fix that next. So this is an issue with the animation blueprint. So next let's head down to variant shooter and enums and in here you'll find the third person animation blueprints for the pistol and the rifle ABP. TP pistol and ABP TP rifle. Let's go ahead and open up the TP pistol and go to the anim graph. 
And right here, we've got a layered blend per bone. And if we drop down the blend mode layer setup here in the first index and the branch filters and the first index on the branch filter, we've got this one on spine 01. And literally all you need to do to fix that strange sort of turning of the upper body when we strafe is check this one checkbox mesh space rotation blend. This sort of uh, stops the things being blended in from spine 01 and up, inheriting the rotation of the parent bone. So we can also add a bit of blend depth to this and it will sort of stop the spine from twisting. So if we put in four here, that means that this branch filter blends in over four bones. I believe it's like 25% on spine one, 50% on spine two, 75% on spine three and 100% on spine four. I believe that's how it works. So by spine four, the animations are fully blended in. And let's just do the same in our ABP TP rifle. So I'm gonna open this, head to the anim graph, select the layered blend per bone and the mesh space rotation blend to true and change the blend depth to four. I'll compile and save that and make sure I did the same with this one. And now when we pick up a weapon and we strafe, we shouldn't have any weird rotation in the upper body. And the hips are sort of, because that's blending in over four bones, um, it looks quite good. There's no sort of insane twisting at the bottom of the spine there. That all looks pretty good. The next thing we can do is make the firing montage play on this third person mesh because when we shoot now you can see there is no montage playing on her upper body her arms and shoulders are not moving and that is because these two animation blueprints need a slot for that montage to play in we did if you recall in the shooter character in the event graph we did change the mesh for the montage to play to our third person mesh but these animation blueprints just need a slot for that montage to play in. Now, if you dig up those montages, you'll see that they play in the slot arms. So all we need to do is move this aim offset out a little bit. I'll drag off of here and get a slot default slot. And then with this default slot selected, I'll change the slot name to default group dot arms. This is the one we can select that. I'll also grab this and control C to copy, compile and save this. And in the third person rifle, I will paste in that arm slot, plug this in here and also compile and save this. And now if we hit play, pick up a weapon and fire, you'll see she's playing the firing montage on her upper body there. Nice. Now guys, there is uh, a little bit more polish that can be done to this, but I just wanted to show you how quickly and how easily you can change this first person shooter template to a third person shooter template. And honestly, I really don't know why Epic Games hasn't included a third person shooter template in Unreal Engine 5.6 and 5.7, uh, but all I can think is that it must be to do with money. And you know, these guys make Fortnite and they want you to basically easily be able to make any kind of game as long as it's not a multiplayer game and as long as it's not a third person shooter. Um, so yeah, like I said, there is some uh, polish still left to be done on this, such as the left hand IK. I will link my left hand IK video in, uh, in this video in a card up the top right, as well as in the description and in the pinned comment. It's super easy to add. You can add left hand IK to this and make the left hand lock to the weapon relatively easy. And the other thing I'd point out is that the aim offset needs a little bit of calibration because in third person, it doesn't look too great. They haven't really set up this first person shooter template um, to view these characters from third person and have them look really good. So there's no left hand IK. The aim offsets are a little bit janky. The animation blending is a little bit janky, but 
like I said, I just wanted to show you how easily you can change this template to a third person shooter, which I do think is pretty cool. And as I've said a couple of times, it makes me a little bit angry that this isn't included uh, in the editor already, uh, considering how easy it is to set up. I mean, if I can set this up in five minutes, imagine what the Epic Games devs could do in, in a matter of minutes. You know, they could make it even better. They could make it work for multiplayer. They could do all sorts of different stuff, um, but they don't. And why they don't is sort of beyond me. But that's it, guys. If this tutorial has been of any use or value to you whatsoever, please hit like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.